The blue economy represents a new relationship with water. It recognizes and leverages Michigan's most important natural asset, its rivers, lakes, groundwater, and wetlands. The Huron River is a national water trail in Southeast Michigan. It flows for 104 miles and plays a vital role in our growing blue economy. Well, I was raised in Rockwood on the river, and as a boy, I was always thinking to myself, why does everyone go up north to go canoeing? The reason why I started my business is everyone doesn't own a kayak or a canoe. So I decided to open this up and give it a shot. And this year, we're already at about 30% ahead of what we were at this time last year. So it's definitely growing. Because we are located basically right off the Huron River and we're part of the trail towns, we kind of thought leading by example would be a good thing for the community to um, be able to see that you can open a small business or a storefront and be able to provide the service to the community. So we're hoping that other companies, other people will invest in the community and want to do the same. As we clean and protect our watersheds, rivers are becoming the new main streets of our towns and cities. The Huron River Watershed Council commissioned a first-of-its-kind study to measure the economic impact of the Huron River on local communities. For the first time, we have robust data about who's using the river and the trails along it. We can now show how downtowns and businesses along the river are economically impacted by it, and we can communicate the value of protecting the river's natural features. The bottom line is that the Huron River contributes enormous benefit to the local economy. I mean, there's a lot of conversation, more than I've ever seen in the city before, in terms of what's happening on the waterfront. And people are actually calling it that. You know, we actually have a waterfront that uh, we have access to. So getting involved with the trail towns was important because it not only gave us the opportunity to showcase the river in terms of its beauty, but also how we could access the river in terms of ha having it be an economic driver for the city of Ypsilanti. And I don't think we'd really had that vision before. The trail town for us really solidified the fact that, you know, there is economic interest in the city of Ypsilanti and that people can now canoe and kayak, um, fish. Um, we have a fly fisherman in town that does lessons and people love it. Our customers come from all over and I would say that's something that's changed since the shop opened. I started the business in 2003 as a guide service and since then it's obviously grown and become a brick and mortar shop that expands well beyond just guiding. There's people here from, from all over the country that drive and, and, and take vacation to come to our event, demo days, and that speaks volumes. This is a world-class fishery. We are the only catch and release smallmouth bass fishery that I know of in the country on a river. But without someone like Watershed Council making that effort, we could wipe this out immediately. When you look at the history of the Watershed Council, it's been around for over 50 years. Having that, that experience, that 50 years of experience, it's second to none. We are seeing communities turning to face the river and embracing it. And we're seeing the number of visitors strong and growing throughout the Huron River watershed. You know, the river's always been an important part of Milford. There's always been people that live here using the river. And some of the programs, like the Watershed Council's working on in the village of Milford with like the trail towns and things like that. I feel like what I've seen the last several years is more people coming into the community from outside it to also enjoy that. Whether it's recreation, like fishing, or taking a paddling trip down the river, appreciating nature and art along the way, or stopping in cafes, restaurants, breweries, or shops along the shore, there are so many ways to engage with the blue economy of the Huron River.